2020 census will ask black people about their exact origins. African American Committee, um, Harlem, New York. <clears throat> For the 2020 census, the U.S. Census Bureau is changing how it will ask black people to designate their race. Under the checkbox for Black or African American, the Bureau is adding a new space on the census questionnaire for participants to write in their non-Hispanic Hispanic origins. According to a recent memo from the head of the 2020 census, African American, Jamaican, and Nigerian <clears throat> are listed as examples of, of origins on a questionnaire the Bureau is testing for 2020. The change <clears throat> means many black people in the U.S. may have to take a closer look at their family trees to answer what kind, what can be a thorny question. Where are you really from? While many black immigrants can cite ties to a specific country, that question is difficult, it, if not impossible, for many U.S.-born African Americans to answer. The Bureau has not responded to the MPR's questions about why it is making this change to both the black category and the white category, which will also include a new right in area for, for orange origins. But researchers at the Bureau have said they have been trying to respond to, question, to requests for more detailed disaggravated, no, dis, wait, this aggregated data for our diverse American experiences as German, Mexican, Korean, Jamaican, and a myriad of other identities. The Bureau was considering an overhaul to a racial to rate to all racial categories that would have added check boxes for the largest ethnic groups and a white a right in area for smaller groups but it would require the Trump administration's approval of an Obama, Obama era proposal to change the federal standards on race and ethnicity data, which census experts say the White House office management and bureau and budget is not likely to move forward. Black from everywhere. From Nayat Amir Mar, the right in area will allow <clears throat> will allow her to be more specific about her black identity. I'm African and I, I identify as black, but I don't see myself as African-American, says Amir, who was born in Ethiopia and now lives in New York City. We can't just be black as African-Americans. We are black from Africa. <laughs> we are black from the Caribbean. We are black from, I can't even read this, you guys, I'm sorry. I, I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> um, you guys know where I'm going, right? What I'm about to say, all of you newbies and all of you elders out there, Moors, I'll wait. <sighs> now here's a sister. She's got her um, headdress on and, you know, she's claiming to be from Ethiopia, <clears throat> claiming to live in New York and claiming to be African-American and worse, claiming to be black right? Here's the trick bag, people. All right. The reason why it's important why you claim your Moorish American nationality is that there is no Moorish American or there is no nationality such as black. There is no status as black. There is no standing in black in law. Black in law is civil term mortuus dead in the eyes of the law, 14th amendment, dead, dead entity. Um, um, yeah, it has no standing in law. Jamaican has no standing in law. Caribbean has no standing in law. Bahamian has no standing in law. In fact, I just heard a case recently. Now, I put on my documents that, yes, we are English nobles and we are chancellor solicitors, but we're, more importantly, we're Moorish American nationals. We're lodial title Moorish American nationals. That is our status. That's how Noble Drew set it up for us to be free from this treasonous fraud, genocide situation that we're all subject to. So when you're out there claiming to be black, know that the 11490, all those military operations going on with the food and the chemtrail and all that crap, 
that we have been fighting to protect all y'all. That's what you're subject to. And that's what you have to face because you didn't bother to claim your blood birthright. Your blood birthright is your nativity. It's your navel string. Your navel string as an old blood type, you're a more. Period. So people argue with me or they try to argue. I don't even bother. I don't even have the discussion with anybody anymore. I'm not even going to go down that road because I'm so sick and tired of hearing people cry out to me. Oh, my God, this happened. You know, they wouldn't listen to me. I've been dealing with some people for years now. And every time I hear them, they've got a problem. <laughs> and they're forever trying to claim whatever tribe it is today. And I'm just sitting there. I don't even answer them anymore. I just listen to them go on, you know. Because they had a bad experience with the more, you know, whatever temple over here 10 years ago, and they want to deal with that and that's serving them for whatever. You do you. Because at the end of the day, you see all these entities around you are saying, we're sick of it too. That black status, that Negro status, the colored status, the Jamaican status, all of, listen, I got tribes, I got family over there right now who are under those black coats. I tried talking to them like, yeah, you know, you were chosen for this and whatever. And I'm like, yeah, but you guys are, you know, dealing with some stuff and you're crying about this and that. This is what's really going on or whatever. Do they hear me? This is for those who have ears to hear, eyes to see. Because people perish for lack of knowledge, which is what I was saying earlier, basically. Somebody wrote to me recently about the fact that they heard about the English noble. And I didn't want to go into it because I hear a lot of stuff and... I really wish them well. I really wish that everybody is claiming all these different statuses, even though you're more ispo fact, ispo juror, which means that you're more unless you have another country protecting you and Jamaica is not protecting you people. Okay, all these entities in blue you see wearing costumes claiming to be police, they don't work for you. They work for the private corporation known as the Vatican Bank. All those corrupt corporations, that's who they work for, the pedophilia group, that's who they work for, the United Nations, Red Cross, that's who they're serving, and the banks internationally, whether they know it or not. Okay? That's what's going on. So all those people working in these corporations that we are trying to wake up to say, you know, you guys need to just really look at her, just listen to our videos. Go back and listen to the laws we've put out there so you know who you're working for. You know what's going on at the end of the day. Why we came out of the driver's license and the registration and insurances, because we knew that they were connected to all that organ harvesting going on in China and around the globe. And I just made a video about that, where those doctors, they were organ harvested just for speaking up to their so-called Chinese government. And international authorities, I'm speaking to you right now, I need you to go and remove those entities, those whatever that name is, that group involved in the organ harvesting, go and string their asses up right now. Remove them from authority. I speak to you this instant. Surrey Juris, Surrey Heiress, heir to the vast estate of Zelodial Title Morris American National and shut that shit down now and protect all those doctors that are trying their best to speak up and not be subjected to this. So I say this to say that all of you guys, thank you, Alex Bay, for sharing this with me. And also to Chief, um, oh gosh, is it Micah Bay? Thank you for sending me um, those people that I was able to straighten out today and show them the way. <laughs> because really you have to know who you are. You're not African American. You're not black. You're not Canadian. You're not Jamaican. You're not Negro. You're not colored. You're not Barbadian. You're not Haitian. All these things. Asir just made a video. He was talking to a group the other day. And when he went to the original name of Jamaica, I was shocked. I was shocked. I put the link in that in that uh, to that video in the description in a video previous. If I find it, I'm going to put it here. But it's like a Hispanic name because why? Andalasia. Go back to the old geography, people. Andalasia was where? Where? Where was Spain? Because Spain wasn't even invented at that time. And Andalasia was Florida, and I think most of the Caribbean was Spain. At, at was at, you know what they call Spain now? So these names, Jamaica, Barbados, Haiti, they're new. They're European colonist names. And before 1492 or a certain time frame, they didn't exist. The Europeans didn't exist. So all their little white faces on everything, they weren't even here. And we were giants. I was looking at the mountains yesterday and I was thinking, I wonder if those mountains are going to rise up at any point. Because I think those mountains are actually us lying up there waiting to get up. And I think all the